Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to YK Recreation. It's another chilly day, but the snow has melted from the car. But I bet you didn't know this from the last video. We did mess the car up slightly. The exhaust is blowing. Don't know where it's blowing from, but I'm going to have to... May possibly put in a ramp because it, I can't really tell where it's leaking from. What happened was, you know, when we was doing big drifts, because the car is lowered all the snow turned into ice and it might have touched it somewhere or it might have just been heat expansion i don't know we don't know where it's leaking from so let's go see where we can take the car to my uncle's garage big shout out to my uncle always helps me out and then we're gonna do what we're gonna do is put in the ramp and then see where it's leaking from so yeah let's go car needs a wash as well look at this state on the car Yeah, so you heard that, didn't you? The exhaust was leaking when we put it off from the ramp, so the downpipe needs to come off. To get the downpipe off, you need to remove the five bolts from the back of the turbo, and then two bolts underneath, and then it should pop off. So yeah, let's make a start. Let's get straight into it, because we want this car up and running, so we can move this out of the way, and then get the blue Subaru in here and start repairing that. But this one's problems ain't finishing, so hopefully this is the last thing we do to this. Maybe that other turbo <laughs> uh, wastegate actuator and needs changing, and then we should be done. <laughs> Toolbox needs a clean one. I've left it open in the rain. It's gone a bit rusted. Let's take all the tools we need closer to us. Swung ball out. So that's the bracket out the way. Put the bolt back in. Just so when we do take it out, it doesn't drop. We've got that bolt to take out and that bolt to take out. Remove the middle bolts and then unplug the O2 sensor. Right, so we've got all the bolts off from underneath and at the back. It's time to pull it out. So look inside there, it's fully cracked. See the hole? All the way around, look on the outside. It's cracked. Crack, 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 crack. Crack. Oh my. Boy. Big crack. Crack, 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 crack. Just a little bit there, survived. Yeah, that one was literally holding it on, although this would have dropped. Time for a new downpipe. Can we afford one? No. We've got too many screws <laughs> to repair. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see if we can get this welded first, if it is weldable. I don't, personally, I don't think it'll weld. I think it's just going to bust everywhere because it's all rusted. Yeah, let me see if I can get this O2 sensor off. 
Oh, I did the worst this snap off. Yeah. Yeah. So that's loose now. The way this come out was I put sprayed some of that penetration oil in it when you were downstairs getting the hammer. I didn't show you that, but yeah, that was a trick. Alright. Time to take the down part to get welded. So what I'm gonna do is, what the plan of action is, yeah? Before I put this on to make sure it is thick enough and it's not got lots of cracks anywhere else, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grind down all this surface rust to make sure it is worth putting back on. I, do, I don't ideally want to put this back on, but I don't really have a choice. As the car's up on the ramp and I need to move it, I need to get out of there. So for temporary measures, it, this will have to do. So safety first. Make sure you have your goggles on. 80 grit sanding disc on the grinder. We found another crack. We've got one crack there. And we've got another crack around and down the side here. Yeah, so I'm gonna remove all the heat wrap off the manifolds that are on it, because as you can see, with the heat wrap getting wet and over the years, the heat wrap has gained a lot of moisture, and with that moisture, it's been eaten into this metal, as you can see, it's, it's like, uh, what can I say, what can I say, and this is supposed to be good metal as well, but it's still eating it all up, so I don't even know if it's, if it's, what I was going to do is, spray some of this spray in it, you know, for a bit of protection, but I don't see the point now, because, it's that rusted, what, there's no, Really, that can be saved. Ideally, we need another one. Right everyone, so we've got the downpipe all welded up. Oh, it's a bit dark now, it's like seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, I'll show you my, my party trick right now, yeah? Watch this, watch this. So what do you think of that then? The whole back garden is lit up look at that we can work now in the dark even if it's winter or whatever we can work that now. no excuses now boys so yeah let's crack on so it's gonna go this way i don't need that you always put another mod there on the top I'm going to see underneath. Take my lantern so I can see underneath. Ok, 
Okay. So what I do is I make sure all bolts are in first before I start tightening away. I'm gonna need another middle joint soon because <laughs> that middle is gone mate. That's ready to fly off somewhere. And it's not even just from there, it's all the way. Look how rusted that is. That can't be just be from this winter. That's from God knows how many winters this is rusted. The exhaust has. But it's got different pieces, God knows. You always get that one ball. Like, you never have no room to move. Literally can move from there to there. 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 All right, side it up. We'll have to do for now until I can get a full exhaust system. So yeah, I'm just gonna end it there. We've got the downpipe on temporarily. The middle section is so rusted, yeah? So rusted that that's about to fall down any minute. So let's just fix it as it breaks. Cause you know it is. It's gonna need everything changing anyway by the looks of it. So hopefully I do find a full exhaust system cheap. Cause as you know, two Subaru builds do get very costly. So yeah, full exhaust system and then we'll go from there but yeah make sure you like share and subscribe i hope this video was informative and see you in the next one